Hey, it's Chris. I'm glad you could join me for another video. Um, today we have something quite interesting. It's a USB um, that has Bitcoin uh, wallet on here, and uh, it's I guess it suffers some liquid damage. Um, I was going to fix it uh, by just fixing the board itself, but the user is not sure whether the wallet is encrypted um, or, or the uh, the on entire USB. So. I'm not sure if I'm going to risk um, damaging it further because if the entire USB is uh, encrypted then um, we don't want to risk um, making this unrecoverable. So uh, I'm, I have an identical donor which I'm going to use for as a, the board itself. I'm going to swap the, the controller and the, uh, the two NAND chips that are on here and I swap them over and then uh, hopefully that will be what is needed. And then when it's all said and done, I'm hoping to uh, take it over to Flash Extractor just to see um, what we can do with Flash Extractor because I just got Flash Extractor recently, about a month, a month uh, two months ago. Uh, so I want to play around with it and also want to show it on the video. Anyways, let's get to this. Okay, so um, let's have a look at this USB drive. So it doesn't look too bad. I mean, there's definitely corrosion. When you, when you plug it in, it just gets really hot. And it gets hot. Um, I guess I was right here from one of these caps. I think it was uh, this one. And this one. Now I don't want to be plugging it any, any further because I don't want to damage the controller. I've seen where um, the cap has destroyed the controller. So let's see. Yeah. This definitely shouldn't beep. Let's check this one. Yeah, so, so I think the best thing is um, for this particular case would be to um, go ahead and swap the um, the controller and the NANDs, both of the TSOP NANDs, into a, a donor. I think this should be an identical drive. Um, the tricky part is getting it open, so um, let's find the screwdrivers here. And there's a way to do this. Okay, now we got it out. Okay, so first thing we're gonna do, we're gonna prep our donor. We're gonna put this one aside. Let's get our donor in. And, uh, I'm not going to take any precautions in removing the controller or the NANDs because I don't really care about this particular controller or this NAND.
and all we have to do now is just uh, remove the um, NANDs and the uh, controller from the uh, original drive. This is the one that's bad. I sped this up because my soldering was horrendous on here. The solder didn't, want, didn't even want to stick to any of the pads and um, that was from the corrosion. And this is the best way to remove uh, TSOP because you want to avoid the heat. So you heat up the sides with a lot of solder. So you put tons of solder on one side and then you just lift it uh, by heating it up. This way you avoid heating the entire chip. Here's the first chip. I think when the legs were bent. And that's the second chip here. Again, saw it doesn't want to stick to anything, even with tons of flux. It was just a way to corrode it. Now just clean all this solder here. Fix any bent pins. Clean up nicely. Get the chips, and now the last thing is the controller. I'm using very low heat here. I don't want to damage the controller. I mean, they're pretty robust, but to a point, obviously. And this is our donor board. So to clean the controller up first and then we can just get to swapping. And you just gotta put the chips back on. We're almost done here. A little cleanup. And it's the other side. Thin the pads. And put the chip back on. Now that I look back, I should have cleaned the legs a little bit better because the solder didn't want to stick to them. Anyways, it's on. Okay, so now the uh, drive is plugged in and let's see what let's see what happens here. So obviously the drive is asking to be formatted. Um, we don't want to do that. So it's most likely encrypted. Uh, we can check uh, by opening um, the computer and we can see that uh, there's a drive, so let's go into uh, computer management and see the size of the drive. So yeah, it's 32 gigs, so the size is correct, um, so it's most likely encrypted. There's a few ways to check if the drive is encrypted. Um, there is, um, obviously we're going to use uh, Magnet Axiom, that, that will tell me whether the drive is encrypted or not, so we can do it that way. Um, Magnet also has a free tool on their website uh, that uh, you can apply for and they'll send you a link to it that lets you it's a command line and lets you check uh, volumes for encryption so that's another option um, but uh, let's just see what Axiom tells me here so we're gonna make a some DS case it's a computer windows load evidence and a drive so let's um, 
refresh here and let's see if it shows up and there's the disk so you clear this go next yeah so it tells me it's true crypt or ver crypt um, I'm gonna contact the client to give me the password and uh, see uh, if we can decrypt it I mean the drive is working so um, all we need to do is put in the password and we can decrypt it. They he probably, probably got Veracrypt installed on his computer so he can um, decrypt it. I don't use Veracrypt so I don't know uh, exactly how to decrypt it. I mean, I'm pretty sure it's straightforward just running the software. Uh, but yeah, anyways, thanks for watching. Um, stay tuned for more videos. I am traveling to Vancouver uh, beginning of November. I have a case I'm testifying in so I'm probably going to film this for YouTube. Um, I won't be able to discuss the case at all because um, I did sign a non-disclosure agreement. So, uh, but I am going to film the trip and I'm going to discuss um, testifying in court. So, if you are an um, expert witness or you going to be one or you want to look into this field, uh, definitely watch that video. I'm going to discuss pitfalls and what to watch out for and uh, basic forensic stuff. So, uh, yeah. Anyways, thanks for watching. Stay tuned for the next video. So an update on this case, um, the client ended up not giving me the password, they want to get the data themselves. Um, the thing is, the USB is working, so they should have no issues uh, getting into it. Uh, they did confirm it is Veracrypt, so uh, the drive is working. So anyways, stay tuned for the next video.